In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a content management system to a static HTML website. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to need an HTML editor, a static HTML website, and a web host with FTP. Okay, uh, so this is the website which I'm going to be adding the content man management system to. As you see, it's a very simple HTML website with CSS and adding a content management system will greatly uh, speed up the time it takes to update and manage this website. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing we have to do is open up our HTML editor. In this tutorial I'm going to be uh, using Expression Web and we're going to have to add some tags uh, to indicate uh, which parts of our website we want to make editable. Uh, since I'm using a template um, I'm just going to create a div tag around the content. I'm calling this content. I'm going to create a class and I'm going to set this class property to Kashi CMS. And once we have that we're going to click Save and since I'm using a template this is going to update all the HTML pages on my website. Um, if you're not using a template you have to um, put that uh, class tag in there individually for every single page you want to be uh, dynamically updatable. And once we have that then we're going to up to upload the files to our web server using FTP. Uh, after we've done that, we're going to open up Firefox and we're going to do a search for Kashi CMS and then we're going to click on the first link. And then we're going to uh, proceed to sign up for an account for this website. Uh, this is the content management system that we're going to be using and in my point of view it's really easy and it's very easy to use especially for the static HTML websites. So now we're going to select add new site and we're going to put in our website URL and we're going to put in our FTP information so that uh, this uh, web application can access and make changes to our website. Okay, after we've done that, we're going to add the site and then we're going to select assign page to site. And in here, we're going to select uh, every single HTML page that we want to, to be dynamically editable using Kashi CMS. Now please note if for some reason you forgot to put the tags in, it will give you a warning or an error. Okay, but once we have that, in order to edit the page using Kashi CMS, we're just going to simply uh, click on the name of the page, and this will bring you to the web editor. And once we're in the web editor, we can proceed to just add content uh, to this page like we, we are, we're using a simple word processor. And then once you're done, uh, just select Publish Page. And I'm going to repeat this uh, for the other two pages on my site. And I'm just going to add in, uh, some simple content. And once we have that, uh, we can simply uh, just navigate to our website and as you see, uh, the content uh, has been added. And as you see, this is a great way to speed up the time for updating and managing, managing a static website. And that is it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please go to thehackersjournal.com.